Welcome to My Nice Tie, this is Ben, and today we're gonna learn the powerful and popular Double Windsor Knot. The Double Windsor is one of the most popular knots. When, when you think of the iconic necktie, it is with the Double Windsor Knot. Everyone thinks of the Double Windsor Knot. And the, the reason it's so popular is because it's one, symmetrical, and two, it's self-releasing. So when you pull, when you're done wearing the necktie, you just uh, loosen the skinny end and then voila, it's done. Some, not all knots do that, the Double Windsor does. Most good knots actually do that as well. The first step with this or any necktie knot is you throw it over your neck and you gotta determine how long to get the wide end and the short end. I have a trick for that that I've shared in this and other videos. Um, what I do is I take my right hand and I drop it down to my side, straight down, and for this knot, I make the necktie about three inches longer than my index finger on my right hand. That should produce the perfect length at the end. So now I'm ready for the second step, which is to cross over. And after you cross, I just pinch this cross. That frees up my left hand to then take the wide end and go up through the hole between my necktie and my neck. It's that simple. You wanna tighten that down, and you'll notice that the wide end is still pointing in the same direction, it's still pointing to my left, which is the way it was when I originally crossed the necktie. And now we're ready to go under the skinny piece. You'll notice I'm now pinching the two ends with one hand to free up my right hand so that I can take the wide end and go down through the hole between my necktie and my neck. Now, if you've made it to this point successfully, you should have what is starting to look like a necktie knot. It's a symmetrical triangle with two pieces. And it's okay to stop at this point and, and kind of shape it a little bit. Make sure that these folds are flat because this is gonna be what holds the shape of the knot in the end. So now I just take the wide end and I cross it over in front of the skinny end to make what I call the front piece. Can you see that? That's basically what will be the front piece of the necktie. But rather than keeping it close like this, I take my middle finger and I just hold that front piece open and then take the wide end up through the hole between my necktie and my neck and then down through that loop I left with the front piece. And voila, that is the double Windsor. But now you have to do the most important step, which is to tighten. I cannot stress enough how important this step is. I have a trick for that. I take my left hand uh, and I, I take the wide end with my left hand and with my right hand, I put my thumb underneath this top piece. And as I pull down on the wide end, with my left hand, I kind of twist and pull up on the top piece with my right hand. And as you can see, every time I pull up with my right hand, it's tightening this front piece and making it look like a, a, a solid double Windsor knot. And then I pull down to tighten until I get it to a point where the knot is, is fairly tight. And then you just want to take a second to shape it. You don't want there to be any folds. You try to flatten out the knot. You can pull on the loop to widen your triangle um, and you can pinch the bottom of the triangle to make it a little skinnier. And that is a great double Windsor knot. Hopefully you got that on your first try and joined the One End Club. This necktie as well as other neckties can be found at MyNiceTie.com. And while you're there, check out how we change the world for the better with every tie you purchase. Subscribe to our channel. We're coming out with new videos all the time. And most importantly, keep looking classy. This has been Signing Out.